Hello everyone, and welcome back to the 101 Dalmatians Challenge here in Sims 3 with all expansion packs, quite a bit of custom content, and a burglar! A burglar and a very good boy who has come by, a stray dog who has arrived just as this burglar has arrived. Oh my gosh, Terry and Tisha are both wide awake. Oh my goodness, there's Emma, there's Andrea, it's a whole hub of a loo! The cat's even here! <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, hello everybody. I was not planning on coming back to you guys until after the morning had come. It is the night after Terry and Tisha have actually aged up into adults. Little did I know that at the same moment that a burglar would sneak onto the family farm for possibly the first time, we would also have a new stray dog show up. And I thought that was amazing. I would like to introduce all of you to a very good boy who saw our house, this random stranger's house who he has never been at before, being burglared, burglared, what's the proper word for burglaring? Being robbed, basically. And uh, he decided to do something about it. So while everyone else was asleep peacefully inside and we were about to be robbed of our very expensive diamond dogs, Seamus Hawkeye the stray dog showed up. Remember how last time I said we weren't going to take in any more stray dogs and we were going to just focus on having Dalmatians for a little while. Well, then he, Seamus had to show up and be amazing, basically. So he has come in. Whoops, apparently I took a picture of his paws. But he has come in to try to defend the family honor and the family money. And uh, I already invited him into the family because he's a stray animal that comes by. And if we try to invite him into the family in your usual way of befriending them over time, it won't work because we're already over the normal limit of number of pets and number of animals on our family farm. So I had to manually add him in using Inras, but I don't regret it. So we have welcomed in Seamus and we will actually work on training Seamus up on making him a very happy, healthy, stray rescue dog and adopting him out just like Dove and Rye in the future. But for now, we're going to deal with this burglar. So let's see how this how this goes. This is amazing. This is like, whoa, we're way up in the sky. This is the night after Terry literally got the brave trait where he could actually fight against robbers and just in front of everybody, in front of his whole household, he has just showed this robber what's what. He has dealt with them. He is not going to let anyone mess with his family's farm. He truly is brave and protective and that's amazing. All right, did we finish... La Crecta, uh, we learned that she's evil. We got into a fight. I think that Terry wants to calm everyone down. Emma's now having a mood swing. Uh, yeah, Emma's in a mood. Nissa Nissa is pregnant. The burglar was able to get away, but we'll get him next time. What an exciting turn of events. So Terry's going to feel pretty awesome because he just won that fight. Emma's in a mood swing <laughs> because she's feeling cooped up. Uh, uh, somebody just came to rob their house. She wants to snub her sister. Guess what? You do get to skip school, Emma. Uh, so basically, and these two dogs didn't even wake up during that whole ordeal. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, let's go ahead and have some of the kids go back to sleep because we have a lot of things to do in the morning. Don't do your freaking homework, Andrea. Truly, it's okay. And then actually, I think Tisha might be a little bit unsettled. So let's have her come over here. We're going to have her come talk to Terry. And Terry, Terry's just ready to go right back to bed. He's like, I won that fight. We'll have to work on adding security in the morning. But everything, everything's good from his point of view. And let's go ahead and have Terry, uh, let's see. I think Tisha is going to be like a little bit upset about this though. Can we talk about what just happened? Confess to watching you while you sleep. Announce birthday. We already had our birthday. As to be protected. Yes, that is perfect. That is definitely what would be happening right here because I think Tisha would be a little bit upset. I think she would be, Tisha, put on some clothes. Oh, she's wearing her PJs. Well, she was just woken up. In the middle of the night. Terry, don't smirk like that. I know Tisha's not wearing any pants, but that's just because I haven't given her <laughs> PJ pants just yet. So I will work on that. Also, good. So we've got... Dove, you need to take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, Dove, Dove, Dove. And Dove also wants to sniff the new dog. Dog, dog. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, Terry, get that smirk off your face, buddy. 
I know she's not wearing pants, but you gotta be mature about this, okay? So she's asking to be protected. Um, is there some way we could complain about, uh, we could ask if she slept well. Oh my gosh, Terry! That is a very adult, very adult thought you're having, but I can't really blame him because Tisha is, is Tisha needs to put some clothes on, maybe. <laughs> we'll make a promise to protect her. And then can we boast about, talk about the burglary? Um... Yeah, we'll talk about the burglary just to, to be like, okay, don't worry. We're going to protect her. It'll be all right. Did we already make the promise to protect? I think we did. She should be feeling, yeah, someone's watching over me. She should be feeling better. So I think that'll make Tisha feel better. But just for the night, I'm going to go ahead and let her sleep over here too. And hopefully nothing naughty will happen, you two, even though they're adults now. Uh, but I think that she's just upset and would feel comfortable being close at hand. So as long as I'm just going to leave them be, I don't think that relationship will get out of hand behind my back. So that should work out. Dove is doing better. Good, good, good. We'll worry about all of the animals over here in a little bit. Um, and we will move Seamus Hawkeye over to the animal rescue later. So thank you very much to Seamus Hawkeye. I feel like he was welcome in the family because come on, he just tried to like stop that burglar from burglaring our house, which I think is pretty cool. But Seamus was a stray dog. His name, Seamus Hawkeye, actually comes from our amazing patrons, from our Patreon Discord. When amazing random things happen in the game and I need instant names, then I know where to turn. The heroes of our Patreon Discord. So they actually named him Seamus and some of the other suggested names were Hawkeye. So I combined the two and now we have Seamus Hawkeye, the male stray dog who's destroyed Destructive, likes swimming, and he's loyal. Those are randomized traits, so the only trait we have to change on him before he is ready to be adopted out is that destructive trait. So we need to work on building up his lifetime rewards to 7,500 points, and then he will be good to go. But Seamus is actually going to go and live on the, uh, the the pet rescue center where Dove and Rye live because he's going to be one of our rescue dogs and we'll add in a nice little bed for him and everything. All right, what's going on over here? Somebody is thirsty and somebody is hungry. Are you out of water? I do hope you have some water, Rye. Oh my gosh. All right, hang on. I've got to get over here and let's see. Do you have any water? You can, yeah, you've got water and food over here, you silly goose. All right, I'm going to have him... Can I take care of his, his needs? Horses are a little bit high maintenance. Don't let anyone ever tell you different. But Terry is definitely thinking some flirty thoughts about Tisha, but I think he's going to be a perfect gentleman and just give her like a little bit of sense of being protected because he did just beat the heck up out of a burglar last night, which is kind of amazing. And I think that validates a lot of his feelings about protecting the family farm. So talk about a exciting evening. And that does remind me, we are going to be working with Terry here, who's the animal expert uh, and does really well with all of his animals. Oh, and he's also dirt defiant. I wonder why I gave him that trait. I don't remember. Maybe because he used to eat dirt as a dare when he was a kid. But we are going to work with Terry to try to increase his uh, lifetime points because I do want to change. Let's see. Ooh, stone hearted. Tragedy and heartbreak just don't affect these kinds of sims. Man, I could actually assign that to him in the future, maybe, because he is kind of stone-hearted, but not in a cruel way, in an enduring way, in being able to handle the drama and the tragedy of the world, because he has to be strong for his family. So we might look at that in the future, but I want to change his lifetime wish, because I don't think, like, we just adopted another stray, but it doesn't count for his lifetime wish. So we're going to shift his lifetime wish to something that is maybe more financial-based. So we're going to work on that today, and if we can can sell a little bit more money <laughs> then we will definitely be able to make that happen so we just need to train caster so our next goal for the day is to train caster in his final trait so we can adopt him out to the aliens which would be fantastic all right so quite a bit going on and we have some exciting news with andrea who apparently is very happy because her prank on tisha worked yesterday 
But guys, I've been thinking about what to do with Andrea, and I think she actually has some news for her brother, and we will wait until the morning when she will tell her brother the news. Uh, maybe, maybe she'll kind of calm down and want to break it to him over breakfast, so I will meet you guys there. Basil, you weren't supposed to wake Terry up. He and Tisha were actually getting a chance to snuggle. Ah, oh well, I guess it's time to go ahead and make breakfast anyway. So Tisha is awake and as her amazing shirt says, it's time to make some delicious fresh eggs for the day. So welcome back everybody. Just a few hours later, early in the morning, and we've got to get everybody kind of ready to go for the day. We're going to go ahead and have Tisha kind of just wash up. I'm going to have her come over. We're actually going to go see if we can get some fresh eggs from the chickens because it has been so long. So we're going to harvest some eggs and we're gonna see if Tisha can make some fresh eggs uh, and then can I can I clean up the uh, okay I'm gonna put the birthday cake away we have so much birthday cake congratulations Terry you were just woken up by your dog um, command to guard the house maybe oh look and there's the hunting so we can assign the hunting you guys have probably been telling me that for quite a while I had some problems with not being able to assign the dogs to go hunting for different gemstones turns out we actually have to have them on the home lot that makes a lot of sense and I think that that is a fair challenge to have also I think that Terry uh, I'm going to change his wants because I think he has a different kind of jamming in mind with with a different kind of event to do with Tisha in mind. But let's go ahead. Let's try to tell Basil to go find a gemstone because maybe he'll want to give a gemstone to Tisha as a gift. And brush caster. That's a good idea. And fish before six in the morning. Become good friends with Andrea. All of the cats and dogs are coming into the house now because they want some attention. All right, and Tisha's off to go get the eggs. But like I mentioned, oh, as Pepper jumps up on the bed, three is a crowd for romance. Yeah, I think it's a little, oh, Pepper, he fell off the bed. That was so cute. I think it is a little bit crowded in here. So Terry's, Terry's trying to get up. Let's see, brush caster. Is that caster? Okay, there's caster. Uh, care, let's go ahead and try brushing him. And then Caster is actually the dog who needs trained. So we'll try training Caster ASAP. All right. I don't know who's calling Tisha, but I don't think she really wants to have anything to do with them. And there's Nissa, who's pregnant. And then did we get the eggs? Let's go ahead and try getting the eggs. Oh, who's calling her? She answered the phone. I wonder who it is. Probably just her family that she never wants to talk to because they're they're really not very good people. All right, let's get some fresh eggs and Tisha. Oh, there's the cute little eggs. It's adorable. Tisha can go ahead and make some eggs. She's feeling a little nauseous. Why? Oh, from disgusted food. I was like, I know I didn't turn my back on you guys that long. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's fine. Okay, so there was a rotten egg involved in all of that nonsense, too. So we need to get rid of the rotten egg. Totally fine. And then let's go ahead. Oh, my gosh. And there's bad food over here. Tisha's just going to have to, like, do some, some kitchen basics before we can even make a yummy breakfast today. And Andrea does have some news to come and tell her brother, actually. So I'm going to have her change outfits. I'm going to have her come on down and I'm going to have her come talk to Terry because Andrea has recently come to a little bit of a realization of her own and I feel like it's a pretty important one. All right, I'm going to send Caster outside to get ready for his training for the day. Terry, go ahead, change your outfit here every day just to get ready for the day. And then his teenage sister, Andrea, is going to come and have a little conversation with him about her future and what she's kind of thinking about for what she wants out of life. Andrea, I'm sorry, there's a bazillion and a half animals in the way. <laughs> All right, special loner. We're going to share discomfort about crowds and we're going to talk about art. And Andrea is kind of going to point out some of the special things that make her unique and some of the things okay very aggressively she's like it's getting I, I i was hoping this was going to be delivered gently but apparently she wants to deliver it with a little bit of a sharper tone than intended 
But Andrea is kind of mentioning it's getting a little crowded here. She really wants to focus more on her art. She has been creating fantastic works of art that she's very proud about. And she's been starting to make a name for herself in the art world. But to be honest, being raised in the middle of the countryside on the family farm really isn't helping her out when it comes to actually being able to learn the skills and techniques needed to become a fantastic artist. So even though, and I think now she's feeling a little calmer because Terry's really seeming to take it pretty well, even though this is going to be hard, and don't complain about compliment cleverness, compliment cleverness. And then let's see, can we do anything? Talk about cold, talk about art. We're going to have them talk for a little bit. And even though Andrea knows how much it means for the family to stay close and how much it means that Terry works so hard to keep the farm going and keep the farm together, Andrea is trying to explain to her brother that she wants to leave for art school. And I actually think that makes a lot of sense in her situation. She's a little overwhelmed with how busy the farm is. She wants to be able to have time and space, techniques and teachers to focus on her artwork. And I think we're going to send Andrea off to art school, especially now that Terry is supposed to come into all this money and he's supposed to be able to really like help focus on uh, financially growing the farm. And who is chasing who? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Emma. You're just having a good old time with Nissa, apparently. This is this is kind of fantastic. All right. So amidst all this chaos, I think that Terry would kind of look around himself at the dogs and cats playing, at Emma suddenly cackling as she runs by, possibly smelling faintly of all of the smelly potions that she whips up in the attic, at, you know, the, the birthday cake being scarfed down by Andrea, or by, excuse me, by, by Tisha, I think he would begin to see a little bit of his sister's point that maybe if she wants to become the kind of artist that she's always dreamed of, she might need a little bit of space from the chaos of the family. So, oh, and poor Tisha's feeling a little bit anxious about the faucet. Oh, but we could change her personality trait. Yes, I think we're definitely going to do that too. All right. So let's go ahead. Can how How close of a relationship can we get here? Oh, and he's, she's actually intrigued. And can we promise to protect her somehow? Is that something we can do? Ask if Sim slept well, enthused about music, encouraged to improve skills. All right, let's do that. Let's encourage her to improve skills. But we're going to do that as his way of telling her, well, you know, we are going to come into a lot of money. I'm willing to do this. So now we're going to go ahead and have Andrea come over. And we're going to enroll her in school. She spent most of her life being homeschooled, but she wants to go and perfect her art and kind of make it even better, even better than it has been before. I'm actually thinking I should probably have her finish. Okay, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to have her finish the paintings and that would kind of be her deal. In fact, let me see if I can um, ask if some slept well, gossip, share discomfort about crowds. Uh, we'll talk about new job and what we're going to do is Andrea is going to go ahead and have some leftover birthday cake and she's going to finish those two paintings for her brother of Pongo and Perdita and then she's going to leave for art school. So hopefully she'll be back soon. Emma's going a little bit stir crazy so I feel like Emma can get out of the house. Well, let's have Emma take one of the dogs on a walk. That would be pretty good. Let's have her just go ahead and we'll have her take uh, Nissa on a walk. Let's praise her for being hyper and chasing us. No. All right. Let's care. Not change name. Uh, go for a walk to somewhere close, you guys. <laughs> Try to go somewhere close, please. All right. We'll go to the junkyard and maybe go look for some junk. So we'll let Emma go take the dog on a walk. I almost never have that happen. All right, and I think Andrea is making a deal that she's going to finish the paintings for her brother as an act of love and give him a little bit of time to get the money together to send her to art school, and then that'll happen. And I think that Terry wants to come over and maybe, um, let's see, compliment appearance first thing in the morning. That's a little forward for Tisha, though. I feel like it would overwhelm her a little bit to be like, ah, um, let's try... Give flowers, take romantic. No, try for baby. Terry, get your mind together, buddy. Um, let's have him go ahead and hold her hands. There we go. All right. Hey, come on. You can do it. Friendly. She's so she's still pretty upset from the whole event of last night and not feeling well. But I swear to you, she's not she's not expecting a baby, guys. I promise. 
<laughs> That's not even in the realm of possibilities. She just is nauseous because I think she she had that rotten food in her inventory for so long. All right, maybe we don't want to hold our hands after she just threw up. And Perdita's coming in. We might have to block the animals from coming in to stare at the poor little bird. All right, Perdita. All right, anyway, all of that said, and with our new dog, Seamus, around, let's finish training Castor. It is about time we finish training this dog so we can adopt him out. And now Terry needs to get the money together more than ever. There we go. And we're going to teach him to roll over. But we need to get this money together more than ever because Terry needs to have the funds to be able to put in some burglar alarms, if that's a thing. I mean, with this many Dalmatians, I guess we technically don't need to worry. And to send his sister to art school. So that's what needs to happen. And then Tisha over here. What we're actually going to do with Tisha is I do feel like we should change some of her personality. Now that she has become an adult. And I do want to change that neurotic trait. Because I never really feel quite comfortable with having a sim have the neurotic trait. Or especially not the insane trait. Which is what it's actually called in Sims 4. So we're going to change her traits. But let's see what she has earned after a very happy amount of time living with the Radcliffe Dearly family. Does she have anything that would be really good? Eye candy, oh my gosh. I guess Terry would definitely be thinking that. Speed cleaner, oh, that would be so much fun to have speed cleaner. That would be really useful. Um, Let's see, no jealousy, immunity to cold, change lifetime wish is not really something. She does wanna be very nurturing and she does wanna set up the animal rescue to take care of all the small little animals. Um, multitasker, no, not really. Next big thing, let's see, engaging, <laughs> fertility treatment. Oh my gosh, I would love to use fertility treatment on her in the future. Raised by wolves, uh, that would be kind of fun. That would definitely be something we should give Terry in the future. Fast learner, attractive, that was deliberate. No bills ever would be kind of cool, but we, we really can handle the bills now. Carefree, super green thumb, extraordinaire. Hmm, let's see. Born to cook. Become a better chef without spending. So I feel like born to cook would be kind of fun for her. Clean slate, animal expert. Oh, Terry had animal expert. That would be really good for her too. Super nanny, time remote control, acclaimed author, friend of the Kraken, inheritance, dusty old lamp, extra creative, fireproof homestead. Um... If I could pick anything for her, what would it be? Ooh. Moodlet manager, honorary degree. Oh, we should get her the honorary degree in the future to say that she does become a vet. That would be so cool. I think that would be really cool. And that could be a good example of like, she studied really hard. We could get her logic all the way up. Uh, we could make her an animal expert after all. Maybe I should just wait and let her become an animal expert because she does want to focus on the animals. But having her, I feel like, I feel like we should give her at least something opportunistic, which would be funny since she's an unlucky trait. Let's give her the speed cleaner. I feel like she would have learned a few things and she does like to clean. So that's not as exciting as the trait that I wanted to give her, but I feel like it's a good middle ground. All right, and she'll go ahead and maybe feel comfortable enough paying the bills and getting the mail. And Terry is training up Caster. And let's get Caster, let's just, uh, Tisha is required to attend graduation. No, I don't want him to be required to attend graduation. Forget about that. Yay, okay, he graduated, woohoo. So glad, Tisha. Tisha, are you still here? Tisha, don't go anywhere. You guys don't need to graduate. <laughs> uh, honorary degree all over again. And Andrea is now wearing like a whole new outfit again. Okay, did we did we thankfully skip it? Okay, we thankfully skipped it. We put on, oh, they're gonna be happy for the next 10 days from graduating. <laughs> all right, well, we're getting there. Come on, come on, Tisha. Go ahead, focus on your normal outfit, please. Okay, we're, we're finally making progress today, too. What an exciting start to the day we had, too. Paying bills, get mail, recycle, recycle. What I really want to give her is, like, the trait that, uh, like, change her personality trait so that one of her personality traits can be clean freak or whatever it's called. So then you just click on the lot and you're like, clean everything, and they do it. That's what you would do. 
And maybe actually that'd be a good compliment to neurotic, like showing that focusing on cleaning and tidying things up and taking control of an environment helps calm her down. So actually I think that might might go well together. All right, anyway, Caster, where did you go? Caster, come here, boy. You're gonna learn how to roll over so we can finally get you to your new home, buddy. Roll over takes forever to learn, but we'll get there. And then Andrea, let's forget about that homework, Andrea. And what we're going to do with her, she wants to paint. So yeah, I think sending Andrea to art school makes a ton of sense, to be completely honest. I truly, truly do. We're going to have her go ahead and come over here and finish this painting of Perdita. Then we'll have her make a complimentary painting of Pongo, and then we'll send her off to art school. Um, Caleb is sending Tisha some letters like, keep an open mind. You and me together, how does that make you feel? And then Carson Foy is sending pictures. Um, let's see. The Chong Monroe Family Endowment of the Visual Arts congratulates you, Andrea Radcliffe, dearly, for achieving the, various high, the very highest level of excellence in the fine art of painting. Please accept this handsomely framed certificate and display it with pride, knowing just how skilled you are. Wow! Oh my gosh! And then Tisha just got Tisha just got a present in the mail from Carson. She's getting suitor gifts. Oh my gosh! And Bradley is trying to flirt with her too. And apparently, uh, Tisha graduated with the highest honors, most likely to burn down her own house. I think that would make her really nervous and want to get like the the never burning down house trait for sure. But she just snagged a whole bunch of things. Reward certificate, high school diploma, most likely to burn down their own house. Oh my gosh. I think Terry would be like, get rid of it. Yeah, no joke. I think Terry would just get rid of it because he would be so upset that they, they teased her that way. Uh, and we have a couple high school diplomas, which actually I think Terry and Tisha would be proud of. I think Tisha would be a little shy because it, it's not exactly like the highest degree. And Terry got most likely to save the world. What? That's so cool. Oh, we need to get more of these kinds of uh, these things. I wonder if I can find these and debug because what we could do is we could take these really cool little little pieces and we could say they're what the dogs earn. So whenever, ah, whenever we like win something with our dogs or we sell a puppy or something, we could get another blue ribbon. We'll have to figure out how we could assign ourselves ribbons because that's really fun. All right. Well, that makes me happy. I actually like having their diplomas up on the wall. And where's that, that bunch of flowers she got given? And we also have the, the reward certificate for, let me put that somewhere somewhere over here in here for now the reward certificate for andrea is in here too how cool the family is really growing up and like leaving one generational item after another behind and that kind of reminds me of the fact that like all these space rocks are actually from you know roger when he was searching the stars for who knows what reason i don't even remember why he was searching the stars so adamantly anymore all right and we got these flowers what now Oh, those aren't flowers. Oh, Carson. Carson, you gave us like a bottle of poison to try to flirt with Tisha. Oh. Oh. I think Terry would throw that away too. In fact, I know Terry would throw that away too. We're gonna, we're gonna throw that away too. What a unique young man that is. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well then, hem hem. And moving on from that, let's go ahead and have Andrea go focus on her painting. Emma is all dolled up with nowhere to go to. She's feeling, uh, she's feeling really stir crazy. I thought from leaving the house by going and walking the dog that would help, but apparently it hasn't. So she's kind of hungry. She's in a mood swing. They just got robbed yesterday. She's feeling stir crazy. I'm going to send her out and I'm just going to go ahead and let her go over to the bistro and eat there. I'm just going to let her eat alone. And it, she never goes into the big city, never goes into town. So that's going to be a big deal for her, but it'll just let her get out of the house. But all right, that was interesting. Terry, train that dog. All right, so Seamus is now officially in the household. Um, he's almost done eating the food. And once he finishes eating the food, he'll get a little bit of experience for that. We only have one personality trait to change on him and then he will be ready to be adopted out, which is awesome. 
There we go. Maybe we should give ourselves ribbons for all the dogs we adopt out. I don't know. I'll have to see if I can find those things in by debug. And we're going to send him over here so that he can stay on the animal rescue uh, a lot. And then we're going to finish up. And next time, we are hopefully going to finish training up Castor. And he will be able to go ahead and join his brother Pollux. And we'll adopt him out to the aliens at the same time. And manage to get all of that Tiberium money. With which Terry can actually let his sister go to art school. And possibly decorate the house so that he can feel super duper fancy. All right, wonderful. Oh, there's just so much going on. And we have got to get Perdita. Perdita, what are you doing, Perdita? And we've got to get the dogs out of Tisha's room so they don't harass that poor parakeet to death. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Well, this family is always keeping me on my toes, but I have to say they have some of the most heartwarming, dramatic, and wonderful moments. I absolutely love it. We're going to lock the door to just the pets. And then they'll stay out of Tisha's room. And I just, I can't wait to see where they're going to go from here. Because in so many ways, we're just getting started. And even though we've moved on to kind of having Terry clearly the leader of this household. I mean, are Roger and Anita really gone forever? Only Emma and her adventures will let us find out the answer to that. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.